A little history on Jane. Jane was born on May the 5th, 1934, in Madras, South India. Her lifelong friend was born shortly before her in the house they lived in, and they still kept in touch by phone, even in different countries and in their 90s. Jane had a lovely Aya who was the person who looked after children. She called her Pi because she could not pronounce her name. Pi was a Christian and often took Jane to visit the monks nearby. Despite persecution and being a tiny minority, there are the same number of Christians in India as the entire population of Australia, Jane says. It upset her that the monks kept snakes and fed them live rabbits. She was always fond of animals. The monks acknowledged her distress and gave her a rabbit as a pet. After World War II, Jane attended boarding school in England. It was a Quaker foundation deep in the country called the Farmhouse School. Besides the normal school subjects, we learned to milk cows, drive horses and care for farm animals. The senior girls did the shopping by pony trap. Every morning they had a praise and prayer gathering and sang four hymns. Jane remembers many of the hymns and says they come to mind when needed. She always felt God was close to her when her family was so far away. Jane went on to train as a nurse and loved it. Following that, Jane travelled, rode horses and looked after the health of 75 small boys. In 1962, she met and married her husband, who was a clergyman. She was blessed with two daughters and now has five grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. Jane always did her best to be a faithful Christian, but says she had no idea of the expectations of a clergy wife. Her husband assured her she could keep a low profile and chose her work. Parish ladies wore hats in the 60s and she remembered their name by their hat. They had thrown her in the deep end, teaching Sunday school, chairing meetings, running children's groups, baking cakes, helping with fairs, stalls and answering the constantly ringing phone and doorbell in no time, just as the previous rector's wife had done. With the help of a patient husband, she grew in her Christian faith and met some wonderful people. In 1965, they found themselves in Tasmania in the parish of Hamilton, where they spent seven years. They retired to South Arm in 1982. She had a large Sunday school with 73 kids on the roll. Jane feels very privileged to have enjoyed a happy and fulfilling life and is grateful for God's constant care and guidance. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got a lovely prayer journal to show you today and this is a very special gift for a lady who works in our community and is having a 90th birthday and she has given a lot of service to our community has been the wife of a church minister and has put in a lot of effort for our local church and the community within it and has been there whenever people have been in need so a part of her service has been to come and visit the sick and the elderly and the people who need prayer time and that sort of thing and she also has given a lot to the community in other ways like she has been a dog walker she likes to spend time with the dogs and encourages people to walk their dogs along the beach and things so she really has been a big part of our community for a long time she loves art as well uh, she's an artist and she likes to paint and draw so I have made this beautiful book for her as a gift for her 90th birthday and it is a prayer book so it's a religious book and has lots of lovely religious things in it it has an angel theme and I've used quite a lot of uh, different digitals in 
this book so I will list them all below so if there's something that you want to find hopefully that will help you to find it this one on the cover is from the wild sunflower angel kit and I just thought that went very well with the softness of the journal it's a very soft covered journal in an ice blue color and lovely creams and a little bit of gold and silver of course so we've got this lovely silver cross hanging from the top which has little shiny sparkly diamantes in it has uh, lace down the spine and the cover is a soft fabric in the ice blue and it's just done up with some lovely white seam binding so I've made that extra long so if the book gets quite big there's plenty of room to work with but you can sort of cut it down if you would like to so just starting off inside also included in this parcel is a lovely prayer book which is a gift from my mum who also knew this lady and went to art classes with her so there's this lovely little prayer book that goes with it which has some really nice prayers and praise and things in it and prayer notes in the back so that's a beautiful little gift to go along with the journal we have lots of lace added we have some lovely doilies here this is a little square doily that works as a tuck spot so it's the first pocket of the book and inside I've got a lovely Archangel card with Archangel Michael on there and I've added in there a lovely page when troubles assail you God will not fail you so that's very nice and it has a couple more on the back too so that's just a little added bonus and it has some very old vintage dyed crocheted doily and a pretty ribbon on the top so that's just tucked in the front here and a little bit of lace trim with a number which comes from which craft do you do here I've got an old doily that is very pretty, has some really pretty stitching on it and that just was one I picked up in a thrift shop and it just the colours went well with it so I chose that one. I have another beautiful angel here. I'm, I'm hoping that you can see well enough that I'm not too far away but she is just gorgeous isn't she? Beautiful and that is also I think from the wild sunflower kit over here we've got some stained glass church windows which I've put in as tuck spots and they are a regular through the book so I've used those to tuck these little faith cards in behind and I think they are from raindrop lila lovely little faith cards um, if not they could be Faith Art Design Studio because I've used both both of them in this book we've got some lace designed paper on the back this is one of my little watercolors as we used to do watercolor classes together so I thought that she might like that as a reminder of the time we spent together this I've put in as a writing board because there's a lot of fabric and bits and pieces if you want to write you, you need a spot to actually put down to write on so I put that in there I've added some music paper from religious books as in angels ever bright just added little sayings here and there he opened my eyes to see the truth a page from Matthew 6 with the Lord's Prayer on it a little doily with a sticker which is tea dyed I tea dye all my pages that are plain which is writing space and I've put a lot of writing space in here this one says journal change my heart by your truth lots of writing spaces here 
with loving greeting. It has a little envelope that you can open and write some secret little message on there, which is cute. Beautiful angels there. Gorgeous page. I think that might be from Mrs. Cog's Craft, that one. Lovely piece of lace on the bottom there with a little cross and a diamante, which is sweet. I love the old fashioned laces. We have a nice little tuck spot here with Mary and her child. And I've just put a couple of little bookmarks in here. This is a sweet little one from Zern, and I'll link that below too. She has some gorgeous sayings and things that were from her very own mother's collection, which she has copied and put up. This one, it says, The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him. And I've just put some lace trim on that nice little bookmark here and because of her doggy walking I've added a few little doggies here and there so that one is from the Anglican Women's Fellowship Living Hope um, they had a conference and uh, that was just a little thing from that so I've used that in there teach me your ways O Lord guide me by your truth I have a study page there which you can write on. All God's angels come to us disguised and the archangels and they are both from Mrs. Cog's craft. We've got the angels listed down here. Over here we have a song, Let There Be Peace on Earth, which is a lovely sentiment isn't it and that is a lovely little paper bag with a dear little bookmark inside which I've just added some lace on and some tea dyed paper behind he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us so that's just a nice little bookmark that she can use he is always faithful another of the little church windows there which are very beautiful and a dear little card ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you which is one we pretty much have all have heard sometime in our life I'm sure this is a very vintage piece of lace here some writing space this is the highest point of philosophy to be simple and wise this is the angelic life St. John Chrysotom, I think that says from over here. These are sweet. These were lovely little cutouts that you could use for a pocket. Very intricate little designs. And I think they may have been from somewhere called Busy Day Designs. And I have a couple of little cute little things that can be stuck wherever. Celestial being in Halo. You could put those somewhere else in your book if you like. And this is just a little flip out. It says, God is a spirit on the back. Jesus, my strength and song. And some more lovely angels over here. We have lots of angels. I've just used a bit of washi tape at the top and bottom there. Just to accentuate your lovely writing space. A lovely little lace tuck spot here with some vintage, vintage lace here off a tablecloth a little selection of nice bits and pieces that you could write on the back of they all have writing space I keep my eyes always on the Lord with him at my right hand I will not be shaken Psalm 16 8 and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it and I've got a lovely little cup of tea there Lady Grey for her I also added a selection of little paintings of churches and this one is her birth date so that's why I put that in here it's especially for her birthday so she might like to put that somewhere tuck that all back in there neatly I have abide with me over here for music Jesus my Redeemer March of the Israelites, Standing on the Rock, 
and we have angels sitting on rocks over here. Um, sweet little flower added to the bottom there with a diamante. Lots of writing space. Christ alone is my hope. Another sweet little puppy for puppy walking. And a beautiful angel there who looks like she's telling someone off. <laughs> she's got a finger up. Some more little tags tucked in here. They really do have lovely little sayings written on them, but I won't read them all because there's so many, but you get the idea. Another little flip out. A man does not have to be an angel in order to be a saint. And a lovely little saying tucked in there. Some more of that lovely piece from the kit of Mrs. Coggs. And this one too. A nice little flip out here where you've got writing room. I've got plenty of writing room in here to take notes, write prayers or put your favourite things in. Here, another little tuck spot with these gorgeous little bits in. This is lovely. It's like a, a, a round stained glass window. Really pretty. Beautiful angel here with a little rose on the corner. Another one of Zern's little bookmarks from her mother. All things work together for good to them that love God. We have a little card. Life is beautiful and it's just got a little Bible piece on the back. So valuable to heaven is the dignity of the human soul that every member of the human race has a guardian angel from the moment the person begins to be. I've got verses on the side there so you can write more in there. Really pretty angels. I've got a lovely bead down here that I've added with pearls and little um, pretty blue stones on the middle. That's one of the churches I was talking about that I've added throughout the book. They come off a calendar. Another of those lovely little bookmarks from Zern. And I shall add her link as well so you can find her lovely things. Writing pages. Another gorgeous angel there. And the stained glass window tuck with some laces coming off the bottom. Beautiful laces. I've got a little cross on this one, which is a little diamante cross. Quite pretty. Loads of writing space. You can write lots in this book, which is pretty much what it's designed for. Gorgeous angels. So while you're writing, you can enjoy the prettiness of the angels. Flowers, a really old postcard here. This is a French postcard and it's inside of church with a beautiful crystal chandelier. Absolutely stunning church. That one, it's beautiful. And that is an original postcard with the stamp on it. So that's real, a real piece of ephemera. This beautiful lace here, I think I got that from Witchcraft Do You Do? Beautiful blue and white angel. She's just gorgeous. And another of the little stained glass windows in an unusual shape. With a dear little tuck spot. A flip out. One of the beautiful churches. Again. And another little saying. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wondering love. Another famous one. So this one we have a little secret tuck spot. You can just pull pull this off here. This has a lovely little uh, one of Zern's mum's little bookmarks. We've got stars with a flip up spot to write something a little bit special and hide back underneath. You can just tuck that underneath easily. Here we've got a really nice little tuck spot with a beautiful tag in it, or two beautiful tags really, that has Psalm 78 on it and um, a little Matthew, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Another one of Zern's lovely ones. 
another of Mrs. Cogs from her kit. The beautiful little stained glass windows, and aren't they just stunning? I just put a little piece of lace across the top and filled that with some really pretty little bits to read and inspire and encourage, help you think of things to write about. And this one I've added simply because I know that it's her favourite and I know she'll really appreciate that one. So that's something that's really special to her. And I've just added some little bits of gold around the edge of that, some gold foiling that I've put on and some lovely little lace clusters there which just give it a little lift I think, really pretty. This is a vintage one. This is from a very old page from a, a music book and it had a lovely saying, 1909. When you come to the end of a perfect day and you sit alone with your thought, while the chimes ring out with a carol gay for the joy that the day has brought, do you think what the end of a perfect day can mean to a tired heart? When the sun goes down with a flaming ray and the dear friends have to part. I just thought that was really lovely and I thought she would appreciate that. I've used some different coloured washies that are sort of about nature because I know she loves nature. She loves to paint birds so you know nature is something she That's enjoys. Right. Holy Bible which is in a cross stitch pattern which I thought was really lovely and some more choirs of angels underneath that clipped on there. Some more writing space. We have the Lamb of God here in a beautiful stained glass window which I've made into a tuck spot and underneath that I have a card to write a prayer or something on that you like and the the little piece from Jesus spotless Lamb of God there as well so I thought that went very well with that so that's a nice little tuck spot and you can take that out and write underneath that and right on this side as well. We have a little doily there, the other side of Matthew 26, uh, about the arrest of Jesus. We have a, uh, another piece of vintage tablecloth here, crocheted very thick and heavy, which is nice to hang on to. This is a music page that I have used a stencil on and you've got this lovely rose pattern. I have a favourite song here which is it's definitely one of my favourites. Um, it means a lot to my family. It's the one that my dad had at his funeral. How Great Thou Art which is one of, yeah I think everybody knows that one. It's a famous one. On this side I have my little signature design with the feather from my garden underneath the bird bath which is a bronze winged pigeon feather and a stamp which is a wax seal and it has a bird with a little heart hanging off it so I thought that was cute. On this side I've got some embroidered fabric Embroidery and lace with um, a lovely cross tucked in. I thought that was gorgeous. I love that cross. The flowers are really pretty. And that's another one from Zern too, if you're looking for it. Another little uh, raindrop lila tag. And another of the gorgeous churches. Um, these are actually paintings by Thomas Kincaid. So they are really pretty. Gorgeous angel again. Isn't she beautiful? I mean that collection of angels is just stunning. It really is gorgeous. And they are from the wild sunflower. That's the back of the doily that I put in. Over this side we've got some lovely autumn leaves which are maple leaves coming into winter over here for us. This gorgeous church window design here with a cross or sword in the middle on a cross and another of those lovely angel cards which says spiritual growth. Another of the 
vintage postcards which are the real the real ephemera uh, French postcards beautiful really lovely and another little stained glass window that she can put somewhere in the book if she'd like to and you can write on the back of those so that is the journey through the prayer journal I hope you enjoyed having a little look at that today and I really hope that the lady that it's going to enjoys it too and gets to write many things in it yet <laughs> so thank you very much for coming along for the ride to have a look in that and I hope that you're able to see okay it's a very dull day here today but um, I've tried to get a little bit of light on it we'll see how that goes thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now